So in the days following my first UIF meetup, I was at dinner with my now ex-boyfriend's family. I was inspired and excited, and I wanted to share everything I had just learned, but no such conversation happened. They weren't interested. I was asked one thing that night, though. His mom looked across the table at me, and she said, the only thing I want to know is why you're always taking pictures with so many men. I squeaked out a meager reply, because I'm a female in technology, but I wish I could have found the words to say more. You know, and why, of all things, did she want to know this? Was she questioning my ability to someday make a devoted wife? Was it inappropriate for me to be in the STEM field? But more than this, what effect do comments like these have on young girls sitting at the dinner table? Just how much do they discourage them from pursuing their passions? So challenges in maintaining and growing diversity are nothing new, particularly STEM. And it happens in high-level leadership, too. So we have more CEOs named John than we do women CEOs combined. Nonetheless, this wasn't the last time I would find myself in pictures with so many men. From representing my school at South by Southwest to speaking in the halls of Congress about innovation and entrepreneurship. And they didn't stop when they were in different languages. I dropped out of school to take an artificial intelligence startup through an accelerator program in Korea. And as I was pitching, I looked around the room and I saw these statistics become a reality. And I found myself in pictures with so many men. It's circular logic, really. In order to get rid of this rationale, we need women in high-level leadership and in STEM. But how do we get them there when comments like these are derailing these young girls at such a young age? So the question becomes, how do you use your voice? When you hear these comments, do you believe them? Do you get angry? Or do you look at the person and say, how can I help them understand all these diversity challenges we're taking on? And how can I make sure these comments, that they never reach young girls? Well, I keep a response with me now, so it makes it easy to speak up. And it goes a little like this. It's a pipeline problem, really, and it's no one in particular's fault. We just have a culture that in many ways has subconsciously pushed women away from STEM and maybe told them that being a leader wasn't their place. It's words like bossy that we use for little girls, but we don't call little boys that. It's the fact that when we, when we raise little boys, we encourage them to go outside, learn by doing, play with their hands. But with little girls, we tell them to stay inside and read a book. And in many ways, these things are so subtle that we let them go unnoticed. But if they make a girl question her trajectory in STEM, then we all have a responsibility to step in. And the more women they can see in high-level leadership and in STEM, the easier it becomes for them to ascend, right? Because they can look up, and they can see that it's possible. So I'm in pictures with so many men now, but I'm making sure that it won't stay that way forever. In fact, it's getting better. It gets better with every word of encouragement, every piece of knowledge shared. It gets better anyone uses their voice to promote these efforts. Which goes to prove that every moment you spend promoting this cause and educating people, it becomes something. Because little by little, little becomes a lot. So I hope we're conscious, conscious of the way we say things, conscious of the way we frame them in our mind. I hope we're conscious of these questions, right? The seemingly innocent questions. I hope that in the future, we stop asking girls why they're in pictures with so many men, and we start encouraging them to pursue their passions, whatever that is, whatever the field looks like right now, because it should look different in the future. So I want to ask you, how might we build a world where young girls never have to answer this question? Mm -hmm.